Now, We 31 Sports with Nolan Knight. Hello from Pasadena, California. We're now just two days away from the Alabama Crimson Tide taking the field behind me in the 2024 Rose Bowl. And today the Rose Bowl hosted Media Day as players previewed the game. You know, these bowl games pretty common for Alabama nowadays. 19 straight bowl game appearances for them. So today at Media Day, we asked the players, what do you need to bring to survive a bowl game week? A multitude of things you got to bring on a trip. You got to have abundance of clothes and you got to have the proper, you know, care for your body and stuff like that so you know what i'm saying then you also gotta have your football stuff so there's a bunch of stuff that you gotta have <laughs> for your trip uh my foot massager you know uh, definitely because when i'm in a hotel room just chilling all night just on the game or something i got my foot massager and that thing is probably one of the most essential things that anybody could have i think you got to bring extra room in your bag i think a lot of people mess that up they don't have a lot enough room in their bag they pack it all the way and then you get all this gear and you don't have any room for it. But you gotta have the toothbrush, Listerine, soap, deodorant, all that stuff. You know, you'd be surprised how many people forget it. I gotta bring my PS3 and my PS5. So, you know, I like to bring the PS3 because I like to play NCAA 14. You know, uh, my, my PS5 when I got to play Madden and Call of Duty and stuff like that. So, you know, I like to bring my gaming systems. From video games to foot massagers, the Alabama players brought multiple things to survive Bowl Week. We'll find out if they'll bring home a trophy on Monday in the Rose Bowl. This season, there has been no player more important to Alabama's success than quarterback Jalen Milrow. But going back to the beginning of the season, we didn't know who the starting quarterback would be. And at SEC Media Days, before Coach Saban was ready to name a starter, he said he didn't want to pull the cake out of the oven too early. Well, now we're here in Pasadena for the Rose Bowl, and Milrow has received Heisman votes. So we wanted to find out what players and coaches thought about what kind of cake Milrow might be. It was the best cake ever. <laughs> you know what I mean? kind of cake uh i really like banana and lemon so i don't know maybe some <laughs> i don't know it's a tough question see i'm, I'm not gonna lie i love red velvet cake you feel me so uh i'm not gonna say anything for red velvet cake but i mean whatever cake is considered the best type of cake i think that's exactly what he is right now i don't know some crazy cake y'all y'all seen cake boss something crazy off of there so i mean Jalen Miro. The, the biggest piece of cake you find in the oven. You know, uh, a really good one. Um, Jalen has turned to a cake that I always knew he would be. Um, I feel like I always knew that Jalen was going to be a, a good player. Um, I always stand behind Jalen and told him that we follow your lead, man. The way you go is the way we go. The way you rock, the way we rock, bro. And I just always let him know that we believe in him. And as a team now, we're just still standing behind Jalen and following his lead. I hope it's a good one. Whatever y'all favorite cake is, that's what it is. So a number of delicious options mentioned in there, but regardless of what kind of cake you heard, there is one thing that remains true through all of those statements, the amount of faith and support that his teammates have for him and the belief that he can do anything that they need him to do. Reporting in Pasadena with coverage you can count on, Max Cohan, Way 31 Sports. Of course, down in Nashville today, the Auburn Tigers were in action in the Music City Bowl against Maryland and were looking for their first bowl win since 2018. But the Tigers got off to a slow start and the Terrapins jumped all over them from the opening possession. Took no time for Billy Edwards Jr. to get on the board with this two-yard run to take a 7-0 lead. Then later in the first, Edwards Jr. got another, this time through the air, finding his tight end Preston Howard for the five-yard strike and a 14-0 lead. The Terrapins, they would take a 21-0 lead in the first quarter before the Tigers finally got the ball in the end zone, but it was too little too late. Their lone highlight from this one, probably their third-string quarterback, a freshman, Hank Brown, came into the fourth quarter and moved the ball well, completing seven and nine passes for 132 yards, which would lead to a Jeremiah Cobb one-yard score in the fourth as the Tigers fall to Maryland 31-13 in the Nashville Music City Bowl, 31-13 in their final game of the 2023 season. That'll wrap up our coverage from Pasadena, California. For now, be sure to tune in to Way 31 tonight at 10 for more coverage from Alabama Media Day.